Alrighty, another short video on Emacs. Now, I found a nice package. And I found this package um, from a GitHub repo. And I actually started to like it a lot because it improves a lot of things. Uh, it's an alternative method of using the search function in Emacs. Let me open a large file here. This is my configuration file. And when I search for something, I obviously use Control S. And I say, let's say I want to look for all the occurrences of the word window. So it's going to untab the portion where the word is. It obviously works in org mode files very well. I can do Control S to continue searching. I can do Control R to go back. I don't really use Control R much. And what I'm about to show you is going to make Control R pretty much unnecessary so you can bind it to something else. And what I'm going to show you is, in order to replace this slightly dumb behavior with something with something simpler and much more effective, is Swiper. Let's go to the uh, Scratch Buffer real quick and install it. Again, by this time you probably already know how to install stuff. I'm just going to show you anyways. Uh, this goes in your config file. Again, the package called Swiper. Let's ensure that it's installed. And let's bind the key to it. The key, I'm going to just substitute regular search for it. And it's going to look like this. Go to the end, execute this. I have Swiper installed already. Let me show you how Swiper works. So when I do Control S now, I get this mini buffer in the bottom. And what it looks like is it pretty much mirrors um, my initial buffer, the one in which I'm searching. But it actually really doesn't. When I type in, say, window, I'm going to have all the occurrences of window at the mini buffer here. I can use um, Control N and P, or I mean Control N and Control P to move between those. This is really, really useful, especially if you are looking for a specific occurrence. I like how it has the entire line here. You can even use your mouse to select one. It's going to just jump right into this, uh, right into the word. So again, let's, uh, I don't know, symbol, oh, yeah, print, yeah, you can use Control N, Control P, when you found the one you like, or the one you want to go to, you can see how it's uh, bold in the actual buffer, it's also really nice, and just, just hit enter, and you're there already. Uh, really, really simple, really tiny package, very, very useful. It's, there, there is not much else to it, there is, I'm not even sure if it has any more, I mean, it has more functionality, but really, just swiper, just invoking swiper is really what you want to do. So you can find all the hook statements you have, like in your config file. You can use it for, obviously, every over every other file. It's just that swiper, really, really nice. It doesn't take, like, any configuration whatsoever. It just works. Right? It just works and it's really nice. really wanted to show you this. As much as I'd like to talk more about it, there's not much else to it. It's simply awesome. Swiper rocks. And then the default search is pretty dumb. I'm just searching forwards and then backwards with Control R. I mean, it works, and I've been using it for a long while now. But with Swiper, I really feel like it's uh, it's going to improve my workflow a lot. I'm going to add this to my configuration like any second now because it's it's just awesome. Thanks for watching. You know, just give Swiper a go. There is absolutely nothing stopping you, and you probably don't use a substitute for um, for your search anyways. And Swiper, it just works. And it's such a tiny package. It's awesome. Thanks for watching. Give it a go, and see you next time.